Hello everyone, today we will be talking about a new ride that just been released this for next year and has been announced this year, so a few weeks ago. So we're gonna show our thoughts about this new attraction coming to SeaWorld San Diego. However, this isn't my home park, but this is a great addition for the park. Well, you've known all these Skyline Skywarp skyline um, attractions well uh, they built their first kind in Six Flags Discovery Kingdom now this is going to be their second kind but not only Skyline Skywarp is building this but this will be its first kind in the United States meaning this will be the first skyline horizon model to come to the United States this model hasn't been been built yet, but it's been released, so now there it is. They're building it for next year, and hopefully this will be a good ride. But I've been hearing some complaints about Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster being a knockoff ride, which means it's no longer a good uh, attraction for Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. However, it might be the same too because this is the same manufacturer and the train seems to be the same so this will probably be a bummer but uh, remember people have different opinions so if I wrote this we'll see how it goes but I just heard that some people are complaining about Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster at, down at Discovery Kingdom being a bad ride probably because of its best restraints and something like that um, those restraints probably are not comfortable for them Be you know coaster enthusiasts don't really like best restraints but however some they don't complain they have their own opinion they love it so just like the Larson super loops but uh, this one is probably uh, more different because of its style and design but uh, Larson loops are just basically just a circle, like a vertical loop. So they probably have different restraints than these Larson, I mean these Skyline attractions um, type of roller coasters or whatever you call them. Well, I'm just going to call them a roller coaster because uh, mo some uh, most coaster enthusiasts are calling this a roller coaster, even if it's probably not more probably yeah but in rcdb.com it doesn't say they didn't put a uh, title twister on the list so I don't know what's going on here but this roller coaster to me looks okay it's not really the best and fun S so far I think Manta are the is the good one but I haven't really ridden Electric Iliad but that's a uh, intense roller coaster. I mean, more towards the geared towards the thrills than the family. So, and it does go upside down. So that will be the that was the first coaster that went upside down. This will be its second one. So that's pretty nice. So, uh, for the in the rendering, we uh, completely saw a different color. We're seeing purple, and we saw the other one in the animation which is blue and beige which is close to Kraken's color scheme so just like um, just like what you call this just like the um, dragon flyer at Dollywood we thought it was gonna be purple or green but it ended up green so that's the final color scheme we saw I saw in the um, construction photos from somebody on Instagram so that's pretty unique so uh, without further let's go the coaster so yeah it does go upside down once uh, this is more geared towards the families though just like Manta their coaster there but this is more like a compact layout and more small it doesn't really take up that much space uh, it does it just take a small footprint but not very huge of a roller coaster so this is probably one of their cheaper in 
investments in the park well the one that's more expensive the biggest investment that they've done is ocean explorer plus uh, electric eel correct me if I'm wrong but um, they use up a lot of money to do the do that project so yeah I mean this coaster isn't really um, I'm not really too crazy about it but this looks like a unique model from Sky, Skyline Skywarp and it's really unique about this you can either face forwards or backwards now there's no complaint about the um, the coaster enthusiast or the um, GP because they'd say I'd wish this r ride went backwards well now it went backwards because you can choose any row you want so it's pretty unique and yeah like I said it's going it's going where the reptile those uh, stingray uh, exhibit is so they're going to remove a bathroom back there and stuff and it's going next to their shipwreck rapids ride so they're not gonna demolish part of the ride or I mean sorry sorry if I did say this wrong they're not gonna demolish shipwreck rapids they're just going to demolish part of that facade back there so like they're existing restrooms and stuff they have to tear that down in order to make room for this ride so again not too crazy about this ride this is really not a popular roller coaster for 2019 but it seems to be a great choice for the family I mean not too intense not too high thrilling this is probably geared towards the family but it does have that one inversion which makes it a little intense but the reason why it's a family type of attraction because it's not too scary it only has one hill and one inversion so it's not really that scary and it's not really that fast of a ride it's probably just the same speed as those Larson loops and Harley Quinn crazy coaster there Discovery Kingdom so it's really not that a unique uh, a great ride this is just geared towards family for 2019 and it's kind of weird that they got coasters back to back electric eel and now this one so uh, but hopefully this will this will be a lot better in the future the park I mean they're gonna add some good variety to the park add new attractions new roller coasters new restaurants and maybe new shows so this would definitely be a great start for San Diego is to add their fourth coaster so uh, this is a um, great addition but not too crazy it's more you know not really a high thrilling ride so yeah what do you guys think about Tidal Twister coming in 2019 share your thoughts so, share your thoughts below on the comment box below. So, so if I said it wrong, sorry. Um, share your thoughts. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Comment and subscribe. And do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned for more. And I'll catch you guys next time.